how to specify the host name and IP to use for each of your name servers in WHM. Your name servers should have been configured during the initial setup of WHM. If they weren't, or if you need to make changes to them, keep watching to find out how. Having a speedy and efficient name server setup for your WHM servers is crucial to keeping your customers happy. The more name servers you have, the less likely it is visitors to your server will notice any DNS-related downtime. Ideally, you'll have several name servers spread out across different data centers. All the name servers should be set up in a cluster. For details, watch the previous two tutorials. Start by going to Basic cPanel WHM Setup. Scroll down. Here are our name servers. WHM allows you to specify up to four name servers, but you must have at least two. In order to set up name servers, you'll need an IP address for each one. You'll also need to choose a host name for each one and specify them both at your domain's registrar. Be sure to create hosts for the name servers rather than just regular subdomains. Then, make sure the main domain name is set to use the correct name servers. For us, ns1 and ns2.demo1234.com should be hosts on our domain as well as the name servers for our domain. When you've got all that sorted out, enter a host name for each name server using the fields here. Then, you'll need to assign an IP address to every name server hosted on this server. Done. You should also add an A entry for this name server if this hasn't been done already. Confirm that the IP is correct, then click Add Entry. As you can see, a DNS entry already existed for this name server and doesn't need to be added again. Repeat the process using any of the three remaining name server fields, then scroll down. Click Save. You can also manage the IPs assigned to name servers with the Name Server IPs page under Networking Setup. To assign an IP to a name server, enter its host name in the field here. Then click Assign. An IP address has been successfully assigned. This is the end of the tutorial. You now know how to specify the host name and IP address to use for each of your name servers in WHM.